Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to access MySQL database in Python. So the first thing, you can go through your MySQL workbench or PHP My Admin to access your database. In my case, I want to access contacts database and then form table. Okay, I have 500 records to browse through and I'm going to print some of them with the help of Python's PyMySQL. Okay, so next thing to do is to open command prompt and type in pip install PyMySQL. Okay, this is the package that allows you your Python to communicate with MySQL database. Once you install this package, open command prompt at one side and then text editor on another. And now write import by MySQL, then create one variable. Let's say name it con for connection, then type by MySQL dot connect. Okay, inside this method we type in host let's say I want local host then user as demo then password demo one two three four and then finally the database name which is DB and point two contacts database now what I'm going to do is create one variable that will execute our con dot cursor okay this is to create a cursor to go through your context database table okay now let's create one query for that we will have one variable named SQL and inside that I have a select then star from and then let's see I want to have happen like this that checks for form and then finally okay so this is pretty much my query I'm using tilde on my table name and then semicolon after that I will call for a dot execute and for that method I will just pass SQL variable okay now I want to go through the data let's say I'm going to use count row variable that will go through a dot execute and here we will have our query okay you can check the previous execute statement if it's executable simply by opening command prompt and executing this demo.py now the next thing to do is to print the number of rows so we'll have that number of rows some space and then count row and then we will have our data too so a dot fetch one will get you fetch one of the entries from your database so let's do that as well then we have print and simply we will call for data so what it will print is number of rows in numbers let's say that is integer and for data it will fetch one entry within our table and print it out on console so let's try that and see how it works go to the directory where you have this file installed then type in python demo.py okay so as you can see these are the details that we can extract from our code so it 
outputted 500 number of rows and one of the rows entry is visible so we used fetch one method you can use fetch many and fetch all you can use fetch many and you can specify how many you can fetch all and then you don't have to specify anything but then the output will be messy unless you put some loop and then print out the data so let's check out how messy that is going to be okay as you can see there's too much messy and you need to put some new line element in between each entry so that you can figure out how this data is separated from each other okay otherwise it is really hard to see between the all these 500 entries okay so you have to put some loop for your data before you print that okay so you can pause the video right now and go through all the code do note that for host i have changed it from local to localhost just to avoid the error and it worked 